Yo, what's going on? Today I was working on a clue scroll, and this step is a puzzle box clue. And I was thinking about when I first started doing clues, these were the ones that I dreaded the most. I always got so frustrated, but as time went on, I figured out little tricks to make them easier. Now they're still somewhat annoying, but I never get stuck on these steps or have to drop them or anything. It just takes slightly longer than having like a fairy ring step or uh, on the steps where you have to search the, the, the crates. So we've got the castle puzzle box right here. I personally think this is the easiest one, so this is really good. It works out perfectly, mainly because of like all the bright colors and every piece is like really unique and individual from all the others. Some are like kind of annoying and hard to see, like, like the troll one. It's literally like a troll puzzle box. First thing you're gonna do, open up Google, Type in OSRS Puzzle Box and find your box. So this is the one we're going to be working on today. And you're just going to want to have this open. I'll put a picture of it up here for reference. I'm going to move this to the side so that you can see my screen and see what I'm going to be doing. Okay, so here we have our new puzzle box. And the way I like to think about it is I think of it one row at a time. And within that one row, I separate it into three pieces and then two pieces. And with the first three pieces, it doesn't really matter how you get them there, you just gotta figure out a way to get them there. You can move all the other pieces around however you want, you just gotta figure out a way to get those pieces there. So we're gonna start, the way I like to start, I do it left to right. So we're gonna start with this first piece here, and that second one just fell into place. And now we got that third one there. So there we go, we've got that all set. And these last two are the ones that usually doesn't work out this way perfectly, but for the first row it works out perfectly, so we'll just move that up there. And now we can get started on the second row. So we'll just find this piece right here. And just gotta do a bit of maneuvering around. We got that one. And now let's work on the second one. It's right over here. So we don't wanna move this one out of place because that'll mess up the row. So we're gonna move everything around it to get that piece where we want it to be. Okay, and now we got that center piece right here. And now this is where the fun starts. We're gonna get these last two pieces into place. So this is gonna be kind of complicated to describe, so just try to bear with me. But the way I think about this is we have one piece that's gonna be the leading piece and one piece that's gonna be the trailing piece. And so the leading piece, you're gonna to wanna to get that into a position where it's gonna be in front of the trailing piece. So in this case, this is our leading piece and then this piece is gonna be our trailing piece. And so what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to get that into a good position. Actually, let's move this back and get the trailing piece down there. Okay, now we are set up perfectly. We have the leading piece here and the trailing piece here. And they're set up in the perfect order, so you could just move these straight up and just follow it around like in a circle. And there you go, now you've got the second row done. So now we're gonna start on the third row this piece is perfectly in position, and we want this piece to be the next piece right here. So we're just going to follow it around. Let's move every other piece out of the way because all we care about is getting that piece into its spot. Now we want to move this one up one. So we're going to move everything out of the way just to get that into its spot. So we've got the first three. Now we've just got to focus on getting these last two pieces. So you're going to want to find your leading piece and your trailing piece. In this case, this one will be the leading piece, and this one's going to be the trailing piece. So basically, we're going to want to get this piece in front of this piece so we can set it up in a way that we can just wrap them right around into their spots. So let's start by bringing this piece over here. Move everything else out of the way. Okay, so something that will really help with this is to move this up out of the way so it's up in this area so you could just focus on getting this one into its position. So now this is in position within these six boxes right here. So you can move these back, get this one down, and while well, you're removing it right back. And now they're perfectly in position, so you have completed the third row. And now these last two rows are going to be the most complicated because you don't have that much uh, room to work with everything, so you're going to be thinking of these in groups of two and four. 
So we're going to start these last two rows off with these two spots, and we're going to find the leading piece, which is going to be this one, and the trailing piece, which is going to be this one. And it looks like it's going to be super annoying because they're like on opposite ends, but it's really not that big of a deal. It's going to move this over. Okay, so now we've got our six spots right here. This one's going to be the leading one, so let's move this one out of the way so that it's up here. And now, get that one right behind it. And there we go. Now we're going to solve the box for these next two squares. And this one is going to be the leading piece, which will we want to be up here. And this one's going to be the trailing piece, which we're going to want down here. So let's bring the leading piece up there again. We'll bring it into those two spots up here. And we've got the trailing piece, which is right here. And that falls perfectly into position. And now we've got the last six squares. Again, we're going to find the leading piece and the trailing piece for these two spots. So this one is going to be the leading piece, and this one will be the trailing piece. So let's bring this one over into those two spots. And now we've got our trailing piece right here. So we've got these four that we're going to work with. And this, I guess you could call it like an algorithm. But pretty much, if you ever get stuck like this, you just got to focus on these four squares and keep moving these around in circles until you get that trailing piece right behind there. And with these last four, if assuming you did everything right, they will fall perfectly into place. Unfortunately, I noticed I did not do it right because these two are out of place. So I will be back in about 30 seconds and just swap those two around. Okay, and we are back, and it is now completed. And honestly, this shouldn't take any more than like two or three minutes once you got this down. Just to recap, you're gonna wanna solve one row at a time, separate them into groups of three and two. With the first three, you can just solve it however you want. With the last two, you're gonna wanna identify the leading piece and the trailing piece, get them aligned perfectly using groups of six when you need to and keep doing that till you get to the end. If these last four are out of place, you've messed up somewhere, but if they line up perfectly just like this, that means you're done. And you could talk to the guy and grab your next clue or your casket, hopefully. And I'll just finish up this clue scroll and I'll be back to show you guys what I get from the casket. All right, we have the casket now. And hopefully we'll grab some third age from this. Ah, Well, that's very typical. I hope I was able to help you out so you can get your clue puzzle boxes done faster and solve some of the frustration that tends to come along with it. Thanks a lot for watching though, and hopefully we'll see you again soon.